CD Baby versus Reverb Nation versus TuneCore versus DistroKid versus 1RPM. This is a comparison video, and today we'll be comparing these distributors in 13 critical areas. Price, whether they provide free promotion, whether they allow you to make changes, how they pay you, how they distribute the funds, customer service, speed of distribution, whether they give you a free ISRC or UPC code, stats, pricing model, their YouTube program, stores, and extras that come with the service. Now, for a more comprehensive overview of each of these companies, you can download the white paper in the description box or if you want like a download, a PDF download of this comparison, you can get that in the description box as well. Price. CD Baby charges $49.99 per album, $9.95 per single, and 9% of your earnings. So whatever you make, they take 9% of. DistroKid charges $20 annually that's twenty dollars a year for unlimited distribution so you get to release as many albums and singles as you want for that twenty dollars a year now they also break it down into band names so if you want one band name that's twenty dollars a year if you want two band names it's 35.99 a year if you want three band names that's 79.99 per year so if you are a label or an artist that releases under multiple names you know it will cost you more for different tiers depending on how many names you're releasing under one rpm is free they don't charge anything, but they do take 15% of your earnings. So whatever you make, they'll take 15% of that if you go with the free option. They also have a pay option where you can pay them $30 per album per year and $15 per single per year and keep 100% of your earnings. Now, they also allow you to alternate between the two where if you go with the free option initially, but later on it makes more sense to go with the option where you keep 100 percent of your royalties you can switch and vice versa if you with if you're paying and you find it that you're not making any money you can switch to the free option tunecore charges 49.99 per album per year and 9.99 per single per year and for that you get to keep 100 percent of your earnings reverb nation charges $49.95 per album per year $9.95 per single per year and they also have a monthly option of $19.95 per month and for that price you get the release two releases free per year now here's uh my take on the the annual fee versus the one-time fee one thing is peace of mind right with with paying an annual fee you're essentially renting distribution and if you don't pay your rent you get evicted so if you don't really want to worry about you know getting kicked out of the the, the music stores that your songs are in then you pay the one-time fee and you don't you don't really have to concern yourself with it you know now the other thing is it's all dependent on how much money you make that determines how much it makes sense for you if you make a hundred dollars for the year 49.99 that's around 50% of your earnings. If you make $100 a year and you're paying DistroKid, that $20 is around 20% of your earnings. 20%, 50%, that's greater than the 9% and the 15% that's something like CD Baby or 1RPM would take out of your um from your earnings. So you look at how much you're making and depending on how much you're making, one or the other would make more sense for you. So that's something that you gotta look at as well free or discounted promotion cd baby with cd baby you get 100 free plays on django now django is kind of like a bootleg pandora where people users get to pick an artist and they'll create a radio station around that artist a song you know now they're not as good as pandora but people do use them so that 100 plays helps now cd baby also will feature you on their homepage of their website, you know, in the new releases section when you uh, distribute, a mu through, distribute an album through them. They also have the CD Baby podcast and playlists on Spotify and, you know, other streaming platforms. DistroKid doesn't provide any promotion. 1RPM 
provides promotion in a number of ways. They do playlist pitching where they'll reach out to Spotify, Tidal, you know, uh, Apple Music and try to get your music placed in those playlists, their, their main playlists on those platforms. They'll reach out to music stores and try to get you featured placement in the music stores. Uh, they have a YouTube channel that they'll feature your music on. They'll, they'll help promote you through social media. They also have a mailing list where they send out email blasts promoting um, artists that they distribute. Now, TuneCore, TuneCore provides you with 100 free plays on Django, just like CD Baby does. Reverb Nation offers promotion, but their promotional services aren't included in their distribution package. You have to pay a separate fee. And I break down the Reverb Nation promo options in the white paper. So if you want to want more information on that, you can download the white paper and get more information on it. Making changes. Now, CD Baby, you can't make any changes. Once your release is in the stores, that's it. It's in the stores. You can take down the original version and upload a new version. And if you do that, you will have to pay another fee for distribution but you can't make any changes that's all you can do take down the old version put up a new version pay again like it's a new release distro kid another thing too you can't make any changes in there neither you know you can take down the old version and put up a new version and you don't get charged anything with distro kid because it's twenty dollars for unlimited distribution so it don't cost you nothing you just re-upload it and you're done with it one rpm you can make changes, you know, you can change the artwork and you can change notes so you can change like uh, credit. Basically, uh, if you want to add somebody that featured on a song or change the name of somebody that featured on a song, like if you misspell somebody's name or something like that, you can do that. And or if you have a different album cover you want to use, you can swap album covers. TuneCore allows you to change the artwork and audio so you can change songs and artwork now they don't recommend you do it because it it, it 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 might not take in all of the stores or take super long for some of the stores but they do allow you to make changes in tune core reverb nation they're another one that don't allow any changes to be made how they pay cd baby cd baby has a ten dollar minimum balance so you have to have at least ten dollars in your account before you can withdraw your funds. Now, once you re reach that $10 minimum, your funds are automatically sent to your bank account. DistroKid. DistroKid, you can take your money whenever there's funds available. 1RPM, another one. You can take your money whenever your funds available. TuneCore, you can take your money whenever your funds are available. Reverb Nation has a $5 minimum balance and funds aren't available until 60 to 70 days after the sale date so they hold that money for like two to three months before you gain access to it distribution of funds cd baby pays you through paypal direct deposit and check now you're responsible for the fees that come with any of those uh distribution options and i go into all of the fees for all of these digital distributors and the white paper and you can download that for more information on that uh distro kit paypal that's exclusively what they distribute funds through one rpm exclusively distributes funds through paypal tune core they pay you through paypal check and direct deposit reverb nation paypal exclusively through paypal too now Again, like I said, there's fees that comes attached with all of these distribution options for receiving your money, and you can get more information on that in the white paper. Customer service, CD Baby, they you can contact them by email, live chat, and phone. So they have three ways that you can contact them to provide to find out information and to have issues taken care of. Distro Kid, you can contact them exclusively through email. 1RPM, you can contact them exclusively through email. TuneCore, you can contact them exclusively through email. A Reverb Nation, you can contact them exclusively through email. Speed of distribution. CD Baby. CD Baby says, you know, it takes them around 
one day to get your music in iTunes and up to four weeks to get your music in streaming platforms. Distro Kid says it takes them one to two weeks to get your music in streaming platforms and one day to get your music in iTunes. One RPM, it takes them 24 to 48 hours to get your music in iTunes. They don't really specify how long it takes them to get your music in streaming platforms, but my guess is up to four weeks. You know, it could be a week, two weeks, three weeks, you know, somewhere around there. TuneCore, 24 to 48 hours to get your song into iTunes and six to eight weeks to get your music into the streaming platforms. Reverb Nation, one to two days. That's what they have. They don't specify whether that is exclusively for iTunes or streaming platforms. Now, I know you can get a song into iTunes in 24 hours, but streaming platforms is pretty much standard that it's going to take at least a week to get your music in there. And at most, maybe four to six weeks or somewhere around there, you know, it, it should take you at the longest. Free ISRC and UPC codes. CD Baby gives you free ISRC codes, but they charge you for UPC barcodes. And you have to pay them $20 for an album and $5 for a single for the barcodes. Now, stats. Now, with stats, there's a few things you want to make sure that your distributor allows you to see. You want to be able to see when the sale occurred, when the sale was reported, what store it was bought from, or where it was streamed, which album slash track was sold, how much was made, like the gross and the net, like before the distributor takes their cut and how much you have afterwards, uh, the type of stream, whether it was a premium stream or a free stream, the end, you want the ability to segment the data where you can say, okay, well, how many streams has this song gotten on Spotify, you know, or how popular is my music on Spotify or Tidal or Deezer or whatever, you know, and you also want to be able to download reports and have access to trending reports, which is daily sales activity. Now, when it comes to stats, CD Baby provides you with information on all of that stuff and their trending reports are amazing. Not only do they provide you with information regarding, you know, whether you got a sale or a stream, but they provide you with demographics. Like they tell you the age, location, and gender of the people who are streaming your music and buying your music. And they'll also tell you which playlist your music is being featured on that's driving streams. And that is something that I don't think anybody else in this list is doing. So when it comes to stats, CD Baby stats, excellent. Now, DistroKid, they're pretty good. You know, the only issue I have with them is being able to segment and look at individual tracks and albums and see, you know, how those individual tracks and albums are performing on different streaming platforms and, and different music stores. One RPM stats is pretty good. It can be a bit confusing, you know, when you go to try to look at, like, when you try to do segmentation, the segmentation uh, interface is a bit much tune core they're pretty good you know when you try to segment through them it's a bit much too it's kind of complicated you know it's a lot of steps involved reverb nation i haven't really looked at their stats you know because i don't use them so i haven't really gotten an opportunity to look at their back end if anybody uses reverb nation and they want to give me access i'm open to it hit me up in the comments let me know what's up pricing model now pricing model is basically about whether they allow you to state your own price. CD Baby, you can charge whatever you want. So if you want to charge 25 cents for a single, you can do it. Distro Kid, 1RPM, TuneCore, and Vverb Nation all have fixed pricing. So they set the price for what you can charge for your albums and tracks. And you can't charge above or below their set pricing. And I got the set pricing in the white paper you can download that to look at all of that but getting into that is a bit much for this we'll be here forever now their youtube programs cd baby does content id and youtube distribution separately so you can join their content id program or you can do the youtube distribution where they'll get your music into youtube red you know where people can stream it they'll make the art tracks and everything like that 
Now, they also have a multi-channel network you can join where every song on your channel will be monetized. Now, they take 30% of your earnings with the Content ID program or the multi-channel network. So if you join either of those, they're going to take 30% of your earnings. DistroKid does Content ID, but they charge you $4.95 annually to do it, and they take 20% of your earnings. 1RPM does Content ID and YouTube distribution as a bundle. So they have YouTube as an option, and if you check that you want them to distribute to YouTube, they'll also opt you into the Content ID program as well. So if you opt out of YouTube, then you're opting out of both. And if you opt into YouTube, then you're op opting into both. Now, they also have a multi-channel network. And with the multi-channel network, they'll provide you with production assistance and marketing support. So you can go to like their offices in New York and they'll help you shoot, you know, a video or whatever have you, you know. So they provide some help with, for you in that regard. Um, they take 30% of your earnings as well, just like CD Baby does. They both take 30%. Now, TuneCore, they have Content ID. They charge you a $10 one-time fee, a setup fee, to take advantage of their Content ID program, and they also take 20% of your earnings. Reverb Nation doesn't provide any YouTube program. Stores, CD Baby. CD Baby gets you into 30 stores, now, the notable missing stores are Groove, which is a Microsoft store that, that um, people use on Xbox, you know, to stream music and to buy music on Xbox. And Songza, which is like a, 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 like a Pandora type of uh, app that people like to use. DistroKid gets you into 11 stores. Now, the notable missing stores with DistroKid are Shazam, which is that that identifying app where when people hear a song, you know, they put their phone in the air and it can listen to the song and identify it and tell them which song it is. Now, they charge you an extra 99 cents to get your music into Shazam. They don't distribute to 8-Tracks. They don't distribute to Napster, formerly Rhapsody. Uh, and they don't distribute to Savon. I'm not even sure I pronounced that right. Is it Sets? Sa Savon or something like that. You know, this is a, a, a streaming platform that's really popular in India and they don't distribute to them either. Now, when new streaming platforms and new stores arise, you want to get your music in there. And CD Baby and 1RPM, and I'm not sure if Reverb Nation does it, but CD Baby and 1RPM, I know, push your music in all of the new stores when they come out for free. DistroKid will charge you an additional $7.85 to be automatically added to new stores. So if you don't pay that fee, when new stores come up, they won't put your music in there. You have to keep track of what new stores are, 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 are popping up and get your music in there. 1RPM gets you into 22 stores, now, the notable missing stores with 1RPM are Songza, Groove, and that India store again. Now, TuneCore, they get you into 34 stores, so they get you into the most stores. The notable missing stores with TuneCore are Pandora and Songza. Now, TuneCore is another one that doesn't automatically add your music to new stores. With TuneCore, you have to pay $10 per release for something called Store Automator, where they'll automatically add your, your um, song, your, your music to new stores that come up. So that's $10 per release to have your music automatically added to new stores. Or you can pay $1.98 per new store to add it yourself. Reverb Nation gets you into 19 stores. Now with Reverb Nation, the notable missing stores are YouTube, Tidal, 8-Tracks, the India store, and Groove, and um, Groove, the Microsoft Xbox store. Now these are, some of these are, are really important stores, like not getting you into Tidal is inexcusable, not getting you on YouTube is inexcusable, so yeah. Reverb Nation ain't looking too good in regards of stores. Now, I'll provide a full list of all of the stores that each of these distributors distribute to in the white paper, as well as 
full descriptions of what these stores are, what they do, and the number of Android downloads that each of them get to showcase to you, you know, how many people are actually using them and how important they are. Extras. CD Baby. CD Baby provides extras in the form of sound exchange royalty collection where if you have unclaimed royalties in sound exchange they'll go out and get that money for you and pay it to you they do sync licensing which is non-exclusive they do physical distribution where you can sell cds and vinyl now they take four dollars for from every sale no matter how much you charge for it so if you sell it for five dollars they're going to take four dollars and you'll only make a dollar so they're taking five, four dollars from every sale no matter what for physical distribution you can sell music direct to fan through them where you know your money will go directly to you with no middleman now they take more when you sell your music directly through their website they take 15 percent instead of nine they also do cover song licensing you know, where if you're, if you uh, redo a Frank Sinatra song and you want to sell it, you know, you can go to CD Baby and they'll handle getting all the licensing and everything like that. They'll take care of all of that and you, all you got to do is worry about getting the check. DistroKid. With DistroKid, you can split earnings with collaborators. So if you and a whole bunch of other people do a song, you can have the earnings automatically be split amongst y'all where everybody gets their percentage of the earnings directly through DistroKid where you don't have to get the money and try to divvy it up yourself. DistroKid will automatically do that for you. And they also do cover song licensing where they'll handle getting the licenses and everything like that for you to be able to, you know, redo somebody else's song. 1RPM provides you with video production, you know, where you can go to their New York offices and get a video made if you're in their YouTube multi-channel network. Uh, they do account verification where they'll get you verified on Spotify or Twitter or whatever have you. You know, they do video distribution, you know, where they'll get your music into Vivo and Tidal. And you can also do direct sales on 1RPM as well. TuneCore Extras. Now, TuneCore provides you with extras like cover song licensing, TuneCore Social, which is a social media management tool. You know, you can schedule tweets and keep up to date with your social media activity. You know, how many followers you got and all that other stuff. They do sync licensing where they'll get your music placed in movies and TV shows and things like that. Now, a quick note on the sync licensing is that it's an exclusive deal. So if you go to TuneCore, you can't use any other company to submit your music to, to, to music supervisors for inclusion in TV shows and things like that. And also, all of the music that you have in your TuneCore, like that you distribute through TuneCore, is going to be in the program for them to be able to place in TV shows and things like that. So anything that you submit through, that you distribute through them, is fair game for them to submit to music supervisors. Also, you must use TuneCore Publishing in addition to the TuneCore Distribution in order to take advantage of sync licensing. You can't just get sync licensing by itself. You know, you have to also have TuneCore Publishing. Reverb Nation extras. Now, Reverb Nation is like MySpace, where you get a profile page, you know, and you get to upload music and have your music hosted there with a bio and pictures and all that other stuff. And their extras come packaged in uh, their membership, that monthly membership for $19 or whatever. And for that price, they basically enhance the profile page. They take away the ads. They give you a mailing list where you get more where you get basically uh, 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 more more signups. I think they capped you at like 500 or something like that, or maybe less than that, I believe. Now, again, for a more comprehensive overview of each company and what they offer, as well as what to look out for, you can download the white paper in the description box. This is GIF signing off. Pay us no mind. Peace.